When I first started fishing, you can go out for maybe a day and get maybe 100, 200 pounds of fish. Today you cannot do that. The fish is really declining, drop 25, 30% for the last 10, 15 years. The Nature Conservancy in Belize has been here for over 25 years now. More recently, we have been very focused on trying to ensure that we have a sustainable fishery in the country. We're trying to come up with a way to supplement livelihoods as well as restore the ecology of the area. It was through that process that we ended up stumbling upon sustainable seaweed aquaculture. I farm seaweed because I found love when my dad took me well, he used to reap seaweed back when I was younger, at about 12 years old. And once you start getting off the ground, then you can show people outside the world that it's a sustainable farm for itself. The seaweed industry is something that is very young within Belize. There's a very high demand for seaweed. The fishers are getting 30 Belize dollars or 15 US dollars per pound of dried seaweed, so it's a very valuable crop. There's a whole market developing not only for seaweed drinks, which is very popular, but also for things like soaps and cosmetics. I grew up in Belize City. While being in the water within the seaweed farms and working with the fishers and understanding how they're farming and what works and what doesn't work, one of the things they also noticed was they were seeing a lot of life coming back. What we came to realize is that not only are the seaweed farms providing an income for fishers, but it's also restoring some of the ecology. Areas where there was pretty much only sand and sparse seagrass, now we're seeing a lot of fish life and we're seeing corals and we're seeing invertebrates coming back. What we hope to see is that we'll be able to rebuild fish stocks, lobster stocks, and conch by protecting those areas where the seaweed farms are. Part of this work is to be able to demonstrate how we can have a successful productive aquaculture system within a marine protected area. So it's really a win-win situation where the fishery in the surrounding area is benefiting from having these restorative functions as well as having the increased economy for the fishers. So they'll be able to have access to an income. We're working in partnership with multiple sectors, government, NGO, universities. Part of that is using satellite imagery to do smart sighting and determine where the best places to establish seaweed farms so that they have the least impact on the environment while having the most benefits to communities. We're also monitoring in and around the seaweed farms to ensure that there is no impact on the area, but we're also looking at social and economic factors as well, because we want to ensure that communities are benefiting from these farms. Just being on the water, for one, excites me. I mean, being around seaweed, it gives me more pleasure to be out here because I think the water and the seaweed, the way I see it on the water, it looks so beautiful. I just keep coming back to it. Whenever these guys say, hey boy, we're going out next week, I am make sure I'm 100% ready to go. And like I said, the sea life is my life.